Right then, carrying on the video, Robo Warren. This is, like I said, like a processional route coming up to the fort. This would have been heavily fortified all the way around as well. Probably different gates as well to break up the defence, you know, make it solid. Of course, there's a walk down there in the valley there. You can follow the base of the fort as well. I've done that. I've done nearly every walk that you can do. I have not explored that side. I have not explored that side. I'm sure there are pathways in there as well, but I haven't done them. thing is, normally I'm walking out from Che Cheddar, or sometimes from uh, Winscombe area, and you have to do quite a hike before you get out here. So I don't always feel like sort of going off exploring maybe a nice pathway through a wood there, you know, it probably is. I have seen people turning off and doing different routes. But um, when you've already done quite a hike, you don't always feel like um, deviating off the tra main track. Yeah, it's quite quiet out here today. It usually is quite quiet, really, but sometimes you do get big groups of people up on the fort, students, just people like me going out to have a view, a little wander, you know, that sort of thing. Ferns are getting a bit brown and die down a bit here. Yeah, so just really a little bit more videoing of uh, this part of the Mendips. That's well worth a visit, I think. Well worth a visit. And such an important settlement in the past. And I expect the Romans probably got up here as well. I don't know. I haven't studied in that depth. And then even before the Iron Age, the Neolithics could have been up here. Right, over and over for a minute. <clears throat> right, there is a butterfly route. And, um, I haven't done this bit before. I'm not going to do it today either, but I've just found this Dalbury Warnock. There's a stile here, some beautiful views, and it looks like there's a track. It could lead right round to the base of the fort from a completely different angle that I don't know about. What I'm going to do, just for a minute, I don't intend doing this today, but I'm gonna, just going to go just around the corner a minute. I just want to go around the corner to see if, this, if we can get views. Cow, look at that pack. Cow in here. All fresh, quite fresh. I reckon this probably leads back further up towards if you're aiming for the fort. I'm just going to go to this edge. Very fresh, look at that. That's, that's horse, though. Yeah, I will come. I will do this, but I'm not going to do it today. I'm just gonna. What I'm just doing at the moment. Yeah, I can even see a cow. Look. Dark cows. Quite well camouflaged, and you don't know if they're friendly, Sheila, do you? So that proves that. There's cows in this area, but you could walk along that bit. <sighs> yes, 
Yeah, anyway, I only wanted to have a look just to see. Just to see, really. Yeah, I think that's because they haven't long been up here, look. That's fresh pack. Yeah, they haven't long been here. It could be that they weave it, the ones that go up on the, by the fort anyway, and they're harmless usually. Well, like I said, so much to explore. And this is all Dalbury Warren and the Hellfort area. There's some big cows there. I wouldn't have wanted to go down there with them there. Like I said, it'd be months with cows out now. Being let out in all sorts of places. See this, uh, these sort of trees? A bit like the row barrow on the other side there. This was probably a mining area as well. Dalbury Warren would have been ship and miners, Robero miners here. These trees were planted after the mining had all finished. And uh, just it's just indicative of that sort of area really. Right, so there was a little bit of backtracking then, just to, just to see that. It didn't mean I had to go off and explore it, just to be aware, more aware. I mean, I knew there was a butterfly walk somewhere. Butterfly just touched me on the hand then. Little kiss on the hand by a butterfly. Pathway down there. All closed off, of course. Barbed wire around that bit. It could be because there's something dangerous in there. It's very dark in there, isn't it? It's Christmas trees. Very dark. Like a lot of road barrow is. My plan today is to walk through a bit of road barrow warren and down. Down by the stream. That's plan A today. We're just going to give the time a check. Check the time. Just after six minutes past one. So I've really got a whole day ahead, haven't you? You see, the plan A was to walk across the area of Outstanding Beauty then head back towards Robo Warren but it is quite hot today and uh, a public bridle path And here you'll see a big track 
reading me across. You can go either way. You can go diagonal and over to a style there, or you can go through this way here. I don't know yet. It's funny how we have to make a decision, isn't it? Which way should I go? Should I go that way, or should I go straight on? I think I'll go straight across. Diagonal, I mean. So imagine. And I'm going to make my way across there. There's an area of outstanding beauty. Robo war on there. It's a lovely sunny day. Over and out.